This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to add filters to your blog post in minutes. This is another way to beautify your blog. I'm going to show you how to set up filters for your blog page. Without any further delay, let's get started. We are now on the WordPress dashboard. Go to plugin and select add new. On the plugins page, search for blog filter advanced post filtering with categories. And here is it. Now let's install and activate it. The plugin is now activated. The next thing is to configure the settings to enable us filter our blog post. Here in the column settings section, click the button next to template right to left to make it active. To make grid size the same, click the button to make it active. Here in the image settings section, Enable Show Blog Images option. In the Image Quality option, select Medium. In the Title Settings section, let the Show Blog Title option be enabled. Let the title text color be black. In the Link URL Settings section, Enable the read more button if it is not active. Leave the read more link text as it is. In the post meta settings section, you can decide whether to show post dates, post author and post categories. In the description settings section, enable show block description. Next, decide on the description text color and description box color. You can leave the description size as it is. Also decide on the number of characters to show in the description. In the show filter settings, show filter is already enabled. Leave it still on the filter settings. Enable show filter all to show all your filtered posts. In the post order settings section, you will need to upgrade to change any settings there. In the pagination settings section, enable pagination if it is not active. To change any other settings in that section, you will need a pro version. If you like the plugin, you can check their pro version out to get more features. Now we are done with the configuration. Let's click on the generate shortcode button. Let's copy the shortcode and head over to the blog page where we need to paste it. In this tutorial, we are going to use Elementor Page Builder to edit the blog page. We are now in the Elementor Page Builder. I'm going to add a new section. In the widget section, let's look for the shortcode widget. Now I'm going to paste the shortcode we generated. Let's save our work and preview the blog page to see changes made. And there is it, filter has been added to our blog page. Let's see how the filter works out. Very nice and beautiful. If you find this content helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching and expect more useful content from this channel.